it's me, Kai Man. Welcome to Tuesday's Tea. And today, since it is, we are in the month of April, excuse me, March, going into April. Um, this is the season for Aries. And so I thought that our first tea for Tuesday would be an Aries tea. So Aries, the sign of Aries um, corresponds to the head, the face, um, and the adrenal glands. And now if you're not really aware what the adrenal glands are used for, um, they help with our immune, they help to regulate our immune system. They help to regulate our blood pressure. Um, they also help with the fight or flight um, response during stress. Um, so this is something that will help um, the tea that we're going to make today is something that will help, you know, the the anxiety, depression that some areas face um, because of the adrenal glands, because of stress and to help them kind of stay regulated, balanced and in alignment as well. So, and also due to the fact that, you know, they also correspond to the head, you know, what's also inside of the head is the brain. So we need to also keep that balanced and aligned and, you know, your mental stability as well. So I'm going to um, move the camera down and kind of show you guys um, a couple of herbs that I'll be using in today's tea. Okay. So today we are going to be using some milk thistle, um, nettle, and my all-time favorite, I put it in everything, which is cinnamon bark, um, red clover, um, and then our St. John's wort. And this, of course, is our burdock root, so we're going to be using this as well. So just to kind of tell you a little bit about these particular um and I don't like the way the camera is. Hold on one moment. Okay. So just to tell you guys a little bit about um, some of the herbs, let's start with the red clover. So the red clover is here. And the red clover, <clears throat> what it does is it prevents um, breast tumors um, it stimulates the immune system, and we know that we said that um, the adrenals um, regulate the immune system, so that's why we're using the red clover. Um, but it's also good for infertility um, and symptoms of menopause as well. Um, and as far as, you know, for the sign of Aries, again, it has to do with the immune system and it's stimulating it. Um, it also reduces anxiety and lowers the blood pressure. So we want to use this because, again, our adrenals are used to lower the blood pressure as well. It, it works on regulating the blood pressure. So we want to keep the Aries regulated. So we're going to use this red clover in here. Um, we're also going to use some burdock root. Now, the burdock root, it purifies the blood. It cleanses the skin. It's an antibiotic. Um, it's also anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, um, and um, it also is anti-inflammatory. Now, um, I don't know if many of you know this, but um, burdock root also helps with Alzheimer's disease. It helps to prevent like memory loss and reduce the plaques that form on the brain of those that have um, Alzheimer's. So it also kills bacteria that causes tooth decay too. So remember we said our Aries, they um, correspond to the head, the face. So anything within the head, the brain, the um, facial bones, the skin on the face, the teeth. So um, burdock root helps with tooth decay as well. So the next one that we'll talk about is the stinging nettle. Um, we have here a nettle leaf. And nettle leaf is good for, it's a diuretic. Um, it helps to enrich the blood as well. It supports the um, prostate gland, but it's also an energizing leaf. And we know our Aries because of the fact that they are pioneers, that they're visionaries, um, that they need <laughs> to have um, energy. So this is something that we'll use to help them with energy. It also protects their brain cells and even reverse damage um, you know, cell damage as well um, as improve their brain function and the memory as well. So that's the nettle leaf. Um, the next one that we will be using is the St. John's wort. 
Um, and the St. John's wort, what this does is, you know, if anybody knows anything about St. John's wort, we know that this is an anti-depressant. Um, it's mostly used for um, anti-depressant. Um, it also um, was named for John the Baptist. So St. John's wort was named for um, John the Baptist in the Bible. And this particular um, herb comes to full bloom usually around June 26th. Um, it also eases sore muscles. It's an antiviral. It relieves um, nerve pain. It reduces inflammation. But we're adding it to our Aries tea um, as an antidepressant and a, um, to help with like nervous unrest. So if you know in Aries, you know they mostly have like this nervous energy because they're always, you know, going they're the head first, me first type um, sign. So I'm going to start just putting some of this into our bowl here. And we've got our water in the background that's going. But I didn't really talk about this. This is our milk thistle. And um, our milk thistle also is like a diuretic as well. And it helps to flush out toxins. We're going to add some of that in here too. This is one of the herbs that um, goes hand in hand with the sign of um, Aries as well. Put some red clover in here. And usually I use equal parts of all to make a tea with our stinging nettle. St. John's Ward. Now I told you guys I love I'm using cinnamon bark. I put it in every tea. And what our cinnamon bark looks like. It's just looks like bark from a tree, from a cinnamon tree. <laughs> but we're gonna put that in here. Just put a few of these in here. We'll crush them up. <clears throat> this up okay so usually I just take my little measuring spoon in here and just kind of stir it up really good while crushing up the cinnamon bark so I'm not crushing it up too well Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what the mixture looks like. This is what it looks like. And so what I am going to do, because I have some hot water that's already on the stove. So I'm going to take this and put a couple of tablespoons into my little pot here. that there and get my water hold on okay and usually I just pour some hot boiling water in my glass teapot and I let it steep for about 15 to 20 minutes so I'm gonna put the tops on here and then we'll come back in about um, 15 minutes so while we are waiting on our tea to finish steeping, um, I had told you guys that we didn't really talk about milk thistle. So let's talk a little bit about milk thistle. 
Um, we know that it um, improves liver function, it aids in digestion, it also stimulates milk flow in um, lactating mothers. Um, it reduces liver damage from like alcohol, drugs, hepatitis, um, heavy metals, and um, pesticides as well. Now, the reason why we're putting it in our um, Aries tea, because when the brain sends stress stimuli um, to the adrenal glands, and we know that the adrenal glands is, um, it corresponds with the sign of Aries. So when the adrenal glands um, get that stress stimuli, it releases cortisol, um, it actually produces cortisol. And so, when, it's per, when cortisol um, is produced, it causes the liver to release glucose. Um, and it does this to provide energy for the body's increased need for, you know, during stress. Because we also talked about the adrenal glands and how they respond, um, help us, you know, regulate ourselves during the fight or flight response um, during stimuli. So milk thistle is good for this particular cause. And that's why we're adding the milk thistle um, into our tea. So if you notice also that our as our tea is actually steeping, it's getting darker. So we're going to let it steep up um, another like five to ten more minutes and then um, we'll go ahead and pour it and taste it. Okay, so our tea has been steeping. So we are going to go ahead and pour a little bit in here. And it is still hot as the Dickens. But doesn't it look good? This is good. This is delicious. We're going to give some to Mr. Jordan for him to try out too. But it's good. Normally in our Aries tea, we add sassafras in there. I didn't have any sassafras today. I'm still waiting on it to arrive. Um, I'll do a, another video, um, you know, talking about sassafras, but this is good. It's hot, but it's delicious. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to make sure that you come back. Be sure to make sure <laughs> that you come back once a week and especially on Tuesdays because we'll have our um, Tuesday tea. And today, since again, since it was, you know, the month of um, it's Aries season, we're going to go ahead and do an, an Aries tea. So next tea, um, it'll be a surprise. I won't tell you guys what we're going to do. But be sure to come back on Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we'll have Tuesday Tea. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Life Astrology Today website. Um, and also go over to the Kai-Man.com website and subscribe to that one as well. See you later.